way, my friends, I sacrificed for you and I'm going to bring you one of the coolest tools on the market today. And what do I mean when I say I sacrificed? I went to Lowe's. What's up, everybody? My name is Clint. Welcome to the Tool Review Zone channel. Yes, I got one of the coolest, most talked about tools that just hit the market, and we're going to bring it to you. You're going to want to share this video out with all your friends after you see it. Now, here's the deal. They don't carry this at the Home Depot, or not that I know of. They carry it at Lowe's and a couple other stores. I'll leave a link in the description below for this, but let me give you some backstory first. When I said I sacrificed and went to Lowe's, well, I don't have a very good history with Lowe's. I really don't like them all that much. There's four reasons why. The number one reason why they sort of make me sick to my stomach is they stop carrying Milwaukee tools. Number two, they stock up on more bath towels and curtains than they do actual power tools. Number three, they're very unoriginal and always chasing after Home Depot or what other stores are doing because they have no ideas of their own. Which brings me to number four, and it's more of a personal reason. A while back, I actually talked to them, and I gave them some ideas for a few things, and then they stole the ideas and used them for their house and cut me out. Nope, 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 not, not gonna get into that. So let's just say I'm not a huge fan of Lowe's. But I had to go there to bring you this tool today, and let me show you the trip that I took to pick this tool up. All right, I'm heading out to Lowe's. I'm heading out to Lowe's right now. As you can see, I just pulled into the Lowe's <laughs> parking lot. I'll be all right. Bath towels and drapes in this store. I found these by the uh, pro desk. I gotta get out of here though. The roast scented candles make me sick. All right, so I just got out of uh, Lowe's and uh, it's been a little while since I've been at that store, but I, I think everything turned out okay. <laughs> Now I am feeling a little bit better, a little bit queasy, but either or we got the tool. So what is this thing? This my friends is the all new tough built scraper utility knife. Now hold up. I know you're thinking to yourself, it's a utility knife, bruh. What's so special about that utility knife? And by the way, TRZ, you already said that the fast bag from Milwaukee was the best utility knife. Well, I might've been wrong. Yeah, this thing is going to blow your freaking mind. But first I got to take it out of the package. I sort of got like a chicken and egg thing going on right here. All right, so in the package, you're going to get your utility knife, obviously. You're gonna get a set of 10 blades with it. So right here, you got your slider, which I'll show you that here in a second. Up top here, you got your blade release and how to do that is you just sort of push in on that a little bit and the blade will come out. I will tell you, actually, there is no blade movement at all in this thing. Once you get that thing set in there, it stays. I mean, that's real nice. All right, so let me show you the coolness that this knife is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push down on this little safety button right here, and I'm gonna bring it up, and you're gonna see the blade come out, right? So, and then it'll just sort of lock into place. Big whoop. Let me show you this, though. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna push this up to the top here and watch what happens. Whoa. <gasps> This thing just turned into a freaking scraper. This is like two tools in one. I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna flip that up again, and it brings it right back down to the utility knife, and I do it again, Whoa. and I can close it up, and I can bring it up, and I can do that again, and scrape again, and then I come back down here, and I'm really like, it's crazy. That is the coolest freaking utility knife that I have ever seen in my life. Again, I'm gonna show you, watch. I'm just gonna push up on that, and it's gonna, I mean, come on. And I'm gonna do it again, watch. Come on, I'm gonna do it again. Come on, I'm gonna do it again. Come on. Now that right there is cool enough for me to buy this thing. I mean, it cost me $17 and I love it. But I will tell you that it's actually not that bad in the hands. Now I had thought because this thing is just sort of like squared out, it does have a little bit of a taper down here that it was gonna be uncomfortable, but it's not. It's made out of a rugged, like a, rubbery slash plastic material, but it feels pretty good in the hands and you got some nice grip to this. So not too bad, I actually like that. Now on the back right here, you do have an area for a lanyard. So you can tie this thing off if you want. You put it on your tool belt, carry it around, walking up a ladder or whatever. So that's real nice lag. And I do wanna let you know that once you get that scraper in, you can push down as hard as you want on that because when it locks it in like so, it won't push this thing down. It's sort of like, you know, up on the top here, it locks it into place. However, again, if I do want to turn that off, I'm just gonna push that button, bring that up, it'll flip it over, 
and it'll bring it down. And if I want to close this, just hit that button again and it brings it down. That is freaking awesome. Now I will say this, for as massive as this thing is, you would think that there would be an extra blade storage on this knife and I just don't see it anywhere. I'm telling you, I have looked everywhere on this. I've looked on the instructions or in the back of the box. I tried, you know, like flipping things and opening things and I'm just not seeing it. Why they would not put an extra blade storage or, you know, somewhere that you could fit an extra hundred blades in this thing, I'm not really sure. I think that was a mistake unless I'm missing it somewhere. If I'm missing it, let me know, but I don't think I am. There should have been a couple extra blades that you could store in this knife. I mean, it's freaking huge, come on. However, that said, even without the extra blade storage, this is like a once in a lifetime type of idea, which I wish I would have thought of, and I never do think of these things, but look at that. I mean, it is just so freaking awesome where it just flips up, comes down. I, I am loving this. Now, again, as for build quality, this thing is a little bit heavier, but it seems to be built very, very well. And again, even though there might be a little bit of play in the actual knife itself, the blade and where it holds in, there is no movement at all. So you don't have to worry about this thing, at least I don't think, coming out on you, even if you are pushing down very hard and pulling back very hard. Locks in there, real nice like. All right, so again, if you are using this in a factory or you're cutting boxes, you're a handyman, electrician, whatever, again, you got that really nice grip right here. It's gonna stop your hand from sliding. You got that textured area up here for your thumb and you just slice it and then dice it. And then maybe I get tired of opening boxes and I want to remove some paint or maybe just, you know, whittle some wood here or whatever. And you just slide that open, do your thing. All right, so now that I showed you the awesomeness, let me say one more thing. Don't get ripped off buying this thing. You can find them on eBay and a couple other places. They went like $37 or $40 for them. They're stupid. Don't, don't, don't buy into the stupidness on those sites. Don't waste your money. It's not worth $40. However, if they are in stock, at your local Lowe's or a couple other stores close to you, $17 is a freaking awesome price. I'll leave a link in the description below so you don't get ripped off and you can check these things out. Now with all that said, I think this is a genius idea. It really allows you to have that extra grip when you are scraping and I think that's what this is for. Why it's so bulky? If this was just you know, a utility knife, I could say, well, it's too bulky, but because you're scraping and actually using it that way, that gives you that extra you know, grab and it's a lot safer that way. However, I will say, but for the size of this thing, there should have been an extra blade storage. I said it before, I'm not sure what they were thinking. This thing is large enough that they could have figured out a nook and cranny on this thing and really added it in there, but I'm just not seeing it. All right, with everything said, is this my new favorite utility knife? Well, yes and no. The Milwaukee Fastback is still my favorite utility knife, but this is probably a second, right? And here's why. I don't scrape all that much, but if you were somebody that does, this thing is fantastic. And I will say this is like the top three utility knives out on the market today. I just wish they would have added that extra blade storage. But I wanna know what you think. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Have you seen the new tough built utility knife scraper? What do you think about it? Are you planning on buying one of these? And if you have, do you like it? Love hearing your feedback. If this video has helped you in any sort of way, please don't forget to smash that like button. <laughs> Appreciate it. I always appreciate you stopping by with that. We'll be back with more videos soon.